Hello, welcome back to my channel. I'm your girl, Sincerely Chaos. So if it is your first time to my channel, welcome. If you are a returning subscriber, welcome back, my darlings. I appreciate every single one of you. Thank you for joining me on another movie reaction. This film was requested by Michael B. Hi, my darling. How are you? Thank you so much for the video, the unboxing video. During the Christmas season, I sent my patrons um, a couple of them presents and some received them some made videos for me and i just wanted to say thank you thank you for doing that and put a smile on my face um you wanted me to watch get out from 2017 i thank you so much listen i have to say this michael i think you've been with me now for almost a year so i want to just say thank you thank you for your consistency Thank you for your support. Thank you for just seeing the beauty in what I do and your time. It's just, uh, it's heartwarming. I just wanted to say that. I appreciate you so much. All right. If it is your first time to this channel, listen, we have a blast over here, but we also have an amazing time over on Patreon. So if you want to make a film reaction request, you want me to watch a specific film react um, film for you and do a reaction for you, please head over to Patreon. It's the best way on Patreon, every single tier gets a reaction of some sort. So the first tier is not only the polls and the um and joining the community. The first tier also gets gets polls. You be part of the community. You join in our chats. Um, you get um animation. So all the cartoons and animations. If you love Disney, first tier is for you. <laughs> if you love Pixar, oh my goodness, I've got amazing selections. And if you if you want to just check out my list, I have that available. So you don't just go to Patreon and you'll see it. It's at the very top, a list of all the film reactions that I've done. So if you don't see something that you like, you don't have to join us, okay? Um, the second tier gets you animation and TV series. The third tier gets you animation, TV series, and movies. The final tier gets you everything plus a specific film reaction request, okay? All right, I just thought I'd share that with everyone. Uh, <clears throat> Did you tell me, Michael? You got me out here in this creepy... All right, baby. All right, I'll talk to you soon. See you. It's like a fucking hedge maze out here. Is that cartoon on? Left. It's not me. Walk to someone's house. You know what house. like to do, motherfuckers out here, man, bro. Yo! Yo! Hey! I will never walk alone at night in my life. I will never do it. 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 They told me when I was a big in Niger, I would never do it. I will never do it. Why am I walking alone at night? Where? Where am I going? Michael, did you tell me this was a horror film? Did you tell me? Oh my God, I wish he saw. I, and he saw the door open because he was not looking. You know what I mean? And the person who took him, did the person have a helmet? Who wears a helmet when they are driving a car? You know what I mean? Who does that? Who does that? I'm shaking. Who does that? That was very scary. Because I I was still looking at the the door. The door op that was opened. I in my mind I thought the, we would see the person stepping out of the car. You know what I mean? Like stepping out of the car. If they were stepping out of the car, we'll be able to run. Run. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you my idea. When someone is following you in a car, just pretend that as if you've reached your destination, right? Just veer off. If you see a house with lights, walk there, ring the bell, like duh, 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 duh. don't go back to where you came from. He said, Oh no, I'm not going again. And he walked back in the opposite direction. Don't do it. 
don't do it. Walk in, walk straight to help. You know what I mean? The street lights, the street was not illuminated. It was not clear. You know what I mean? It wasn't, the, 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 you could have been. I know that actor. You got your toothbrush? Check. Can you give me a minute to... You gotta pry something out of your dad. Do they know I'm... Do they know I'm black? Something you might wanna, you know? That was the first black guy you ever dated. Yeah, so what? Yeah, so it's his uncharted territory for him. You know, I don't want to get chased off the lawn with a shotgun. You're not going oh, to. First of all, okay. my dad would have voted for Obama a third time if he could have. Else. They are not racist. True, because if, if they were racist, she, she, well, she'd be bringing him to them. No grown man in the way. You broke my cigarette. How can I get in trouble for patting down an old lady? It's standard procedure. <laughs> Look, man, thanks for looking after Sid this weekend. Remember, no human food. He's got. He's... How is Miss Rosie doing? She's good. She's driving. Can I talk to him? Okay. Too late for us. Okay, get your own girl. <laughs> it's <laughs> Rod. <laughs> what kind of fear is this? For goodness sake. What kind of fuel is this? Is it bad yeah, sign? Yeah, okay. Is it bad sign? It means we should turn back. We should not go again. Ah, my belly. Hi, my goodness gracious. I'm definitely not going to go again. Don't you believe in signs? Let me know in the comment section. Sir, can I see your license, please? Wait, why? Anytime there is an incident, we have every right to That's ask. Bullshit. Get that headlight fixed. And that mirror. We're here. I'm not gonna let anyone fuck with my man. My man, my man, my man, my man, my man. <laughs> not that there's an employment is employment. But the groundskeeper is black. Do. Oh, this is my dad, Dean. This is Chris. Aww. Mr. Carmen. Uh -uh. So, how was your drive in? It was fine. We actually had a deer. Well, you know what I say? I say one down, a couple hundred thousand to go. They're destroying the ecosystem. I see a dead deer on the side of the road. I think to myself, that's a start. That's crazy. Look so wiped out. Yeah, yeah, a little. Attaboy. Better get used to saying that. <laughs> This is Missy's office. She takes appointments in there. Hey, it's Rose's little brother. There he is. I've heard stories. My, my dad's claim to fame was beat by Jesse Owens in the qualifying round for the Berlin. My mother loved her kitchen, so we keep a piece of her in here. Uh-uh. Georgina, this is Chris. This is Rose's boyfriend. Hi. Another black walker again. Hello. Something is off. Why are they frowning at us? Georgina and Walter to help care for my parents when they died. By the way, I, I would have voted for Obama for a third term if I could. Dad wasn't really in the picture. My mom passed away when I was like 11. Oh, I'm sorry. How did she die? Uh, hit and run. That's awful. Yeah, I'm sorry to hear that. You smoke, Chris? You should have Missy take care of that for you. How? Hypnosis. She I, I, I don't want to do it. I'm good, actually. <laughs> Thank yes. you, though. Well, Smugger good and job. I, we're thrilled to have you up here for the... My dad would throw a shindig yeah. once a year, get all his friends together. We keep them close to us. Yeah, What's no happening? happening? Oh, I just wanted to look at you. Oh. Oh, Georgina. I'm so, I'm so sorry. Oh, That's okay. okay. Uh, Must be so very bad. Bad. Hey, this is a medical Why would student. I lie? <laughs> I want to be a, I love it. <laughs> did he say he wants to be a doctor? Rose has a crush on this guy, Connor Garfield. No. Connor Garfield? No. Mom? <laughs> I think my parents were in Greece or something. 
I'm ready to lick a cat. Oh, shit. Hooking up with the hottest girl in class, Jane Deal. Oh, right? This one is a doctor. Why is he talking like that? I was going to say, this one is not going to. T this one is, is acting like someone that is. Blood's gushing okay, from his mouth. And he's screaming, your sister bit my fucking tongue off, right? And he slipped some tongue, and I was not expecting it. <laughs> I'm gonna go get dessert and you know, Dean, maybe clean it up just a little bit. So, Chris, uh -uh. what's your See sport? That standing. Yes. You and him and Mae Fan. Standing with the dude. Dude, what? Yes. Yeah, nah, too brutal for me. Because with your frame and your genetic makeup, if you really pushed your body. Carrot cake. Ooh. Hi. <laughs> His genetic frame or biological makeup, I mean, what he was saying. I think he's he's drunk, kind of. Yeah. It's he, about jiu-jitsu. Yes. It's a strategic game, like trash. Stand, stand, stand up. Jeremy, uh, no karate at the dinner table. It's not karate, man. Yo, I got a rule. No, no, no play fighting with drunk dude. I don't play. I'm just gonna Jeremy. I wasn't gonna hurt him. Wait, was this the guy who attacked the boy in the beginning? This white boy. Do you know why? Do you know why? Look at what he wanted to do from behind. He wanted to choke him, Rabbi. He wanted to choke him. Then the guy in the beginning, like, all we need to see, if I see a white car in this compound, in this house here, then it's that boy, Jeremy. Jeremy, then it's him. He's the one who attacked the black guy in the beginning. When he came behind Chris, he wanted to choke him. It was choking him that made the other guy who was on the street pass out. Then look at what he was saying to the guy, um, talking about his sister biting off. He's a bloody person. Like you can already see he's into aggression. Do you understand? Why would your sister bring him? Every family has a black sheep. So probably he's the black sheep in the family, right? He was telling his sister's date about previous relationships. How can your sister bring her boyfriend to the house? And you begin to tell the boy, you're not telling him how, telling stories that will make her look enlightened, telling stories, oh, <clears throat> My sister was a straight A student. She was the, you know, Miss County something something. She's elegant. She's well behaved. She's the she won an award in biology in school. Everybody wanted to be her friend. The story this brother told was the sister getting intimate with the guy and biting off his tongue out of nervousness to create a clumsy impression or. Either maybe a violent impression, whatever impression he was trying to create on the guy. Several times the father and mother had tried to stop him, but he wasn't getting it. He wasn't catching it, right? First, we see that black man in the, um, in the, what I call it, the front yard. He isn't smiling. He's doing his work. Then we see the, um, then we see the woman, Georgina. I don't think I got the name of the first worker, but I got the name of the G Georgina. She, she's not all there clearly. I don't know what is, I'm trying to understand what what that was about. She 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 was looking at the guy, smiling. You know when someone is in the kitchen when you greet the seven, they're like, "Oh, how, good morning, good morning," and everybody's. Like, but how was just a little bit stiff? We're like, "Good morning," you know that kind of thing. It didn't look authentic. Then she went around serving everybody. Excuse me. Excuse me. 
So she went around serving everybody. I think that was iced tea. And when it got to him, she started to shake. She started to shake. She was like, ah. I thought to myself, what's going on here? What's happening? Why are you shaking? What, what happened? You could see in her eyes that see she had trailed off in the distance as if she was thinking of something else, as if she was not there. She wasn't in that present moment. The woman says, I'm going to lie down. Next thing again, we see her in the kitchen. Someone they just told earlier on. Okay, let's assume that what she, okay, time had passed because when they, they were having iced tea, I guess in the, the afternoon, when they were having dinner, it was nighttime. So she must have laid down and, but even if she, why was she standing? Sorry, I'm nervous. <laughs> why was she standing there with the cake in her hand? When the, when the door went open, when the mother of the house went into the kitchen, you saw Georgina holding the plate. She was standing. You can't tell me something isn't off. It's one thing for me to suspect Jeremy for doing drugs. But I kind of think that something between the parents themselves, there's something wrong with that. There's something wrong with that family. There's something wrong with that family. Father, who has... is even the father now that even looks... You know, that I'm thinking, okay, he's a little bit friendly. You know, he's a, he's a people, he's a person. It might even be the mother that is the, has, look how she was stirred. The father is friendly. You know, the mother was like, Jeremy. And Jeremy stopped. Georgina. And Georgina went to go and sleep. You, you see, that. keep your eye on that mother. One. Yes. Definitely something is off with her. And what did they say? She was a psychiatrist. She wanted to give Chris. Uh, <laughs> hypnosis. What is that? Hypnosis. Go into your head. And then we arrange something. That's what it is. So that if you have certain phobias, <laughs> you see what? That I just love African proverbs. I love it so much. Um, there are things that I and I knew my mom had that gift a long time ago. When I was much younger, my mom would look <laughs> at the Williams sisters. She would say, ah, oh, Caucasians will marry these girls. I was like, Mom, why? why you say that? How can you just look at a woman? Is it? She's like, I'm not looking at the woman. I'm looking at her body movement. I'm looking at her, her career. It's a whole package. My mom and her sisters, they are so good with things like that. They, if, they, if they ever tell me this friend will betray my trust, it's just a matter of time. Eventually, I would see that thing that they say. What I'm saying is that sometimes we have a proverb in Nigeria, and I'm sorry I'm deviating, but we have a proverb in Nigeria that says, if you're going, I'm just simplifying it, but it talks about going on a journey. Then if you're going on a journey to Sokoto and you meet a snake, you meet a lion. First, let's start. You meet a cockroach, you meet a dog, you meet a snake, you meet a lion. If you don't turn back at the lion where you are going, you will meet the elephant that will that will smash everything. What it's what that means is that in life, as you're progressing and you're following a route, and things don't work out, turn around, try a different route. It's it's not it's not with regards career. There's that's not that's not it. It's applicable to things when it comes to life experiences and emotions you know not that if you get a job and the job is hard you shouldn't work hard on your job or try to you know persevere no in life there should not be a back to back to back to back craziness and 
terribleness that if we were traveling in Nigeria and we had a car accident, we will stop that journey for the day, get a hotel, recuperate. And based on how we feel by the following morning, we will deal with things, whether we'll continue that journey or not. If we woke up in the hotel and let's say there was no water, no light, or something started catching fire, it was it's another sign for us to return. Do you understand? That's how the, the, we believe the spirits guide us on journeys when we're traveling. If you're going somewhere and something catastrophic happens, just give yourself time and before continuing the journey. It's the way the universe, we, we say it's the way our chi speaks to us, it's the way God speaks to us by teaching us to watch it, something is coming. People say it's the way, others will say it's the way the universe speaks to them. All right, I just wanted to share that. Those were the red flags to me that something is off. He was going to put you in a fucking headlock. That's what I said. Headlock. Yes, he he's... Yeah, watch out oh for your God, brother. Your brother is dangerous. Is my man stuff. Headlock my like man, he did. My, yep. Oh, and my mom being rude to Georgina? What the fuck was that about? That was so crazy. But you should know your parents by now. What? He's not paying attention. Oh, I didn't want to say it. I didn't want to say it. I didn't want to say it. I didn't want to say that. I don't like being wrong. Honestly, it's nothing. Girl, are you saying you don't know your parents or what? I like or you with a racial fool, though. There is no way. If your parents are racist, there is no way you can't know. Is this boy foolish? How bad can it be? You're so white. <laughs> so white? It's shit so going down. I'm a beast. I'm a beast. The, so the girl is the Joseph now. Or maybe everyone, she and her dad, they're the only ones. The mother and... They will soon shoot you now, thinking that you're an ant antelope or a deer. They will soon shoot you. You better go back to your room. Don't go outside. Jesus. Oh, God. Watch your Gina, please. Run. 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 Someone is coming. Run. 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 Yeah. You should tell yourself how please. dangerous alcohol or drugs is. Because clearly he has a problem. So don't tell me nonsense. Don't judge me. Judge your children. So you're comfortable enough, oh, yes, right? Sir. It's perfect. You want to know how it works? You it just bets. dangle a pocket watch in front of people's faces, is that it? <laughs> Hide and suggestibility. Hide and suggestibility. She said you're feeling sleepy first. Can you get off from there, please? What about your mother? And stop scratching. Yeah, I hate that sound. Stop it. Stop. Mm -hmm. You hear it? Find it. In the name of Jesus, get up and run. Get up right now. She has entered. You said hit and run, right? She was coming home. She wasn't home. You didn't call anyone? No. Why not? thought that if I did, make it real. Hmm. You think it was your fault? You're paralyzed. What? Just like that day when you did nothing. You did nothing. Sink into the floor. Wait, 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 wait. Sink. What do you mean sink into the floor? In the name of Jesus Christ. Pray. Hey! Is this how she wants to help him stop smoking? No way. Now you're in the sunken place. Don't close my eyes. I don't want to close my eyes. <sighs> Pause. 
because there's something I don't understand. Okay, and um, let me just get to my thought process. While the woman was talking to Chris, Chris was telling her he was at home. Okay, so Chris was telling her, previously Chris had said his mother died by hit and run, that he never knew his dad, right? Then the, the, the woman, the psychiatrist, was asking him questions. He said, where were you when your mother, it was a rainy day, rainy night, he was at home. And then she asked him, why did you call for help? How, if your mother had a hit and run accident on the outside that you don't know happened, how would he have called for help? Do you understand? It's not like his mother died in his presence. He was at home watching TV. His mother had a hit and run accident. How would he have called for help? That's what I don't understand because I'm trying to understand. Did the hit and run thing happen in his presence? Did he see it happen and was unable to call for help? If he saw it happen, what is the whole point of having that TV box in front of him? What were we seeing? So that's my question. Please answer that in the comment section if by the end of this film it's not. Because I'm paying attention and they said it was a hit and run. Hit and run implies it was outside the highway. Maybe she's trying to cross the street. Someone hit her, taking out the trash. Someone hit her. We do not know. But definitely it was outside. We see Chris saying that he was home in the room. He, why didn't he call for help? He stayed there. So pe merge those two details for me because it's not getting. She said, um, from the moment she was spinning the tea, every now and then she would make sentence sleep. You are this. Then she would continue the conversation. But she was slowly injecting instructions as she was spinning that coffee. That, I said coffee or tea. She was, did that same spinning thing when they were having the iced tea. She, she, she mixed it and then hit the cup, you know, and then the guy spoke about, the husband, I remember, spoke about the smoking, right? Or was it the smoking or was it his mom? Smoking. So now, this incident that we were something, I thought she wanted to hypnotize him to stop him from smoking. But it seems like this was therapy. Right? I'm not like I. It was, it seemed like it was therapy that she was trying to help him to free him from the trauma of losing his mom. So, so many, so much is going through my mind. I'm trying to pace my thoughts so I can express myself clearly and concisely. It seemed like she was trying to heal him from the trauma of losing his mom or whatever blame he associates or whatever blame he's put on himself for the loss of his mom. But the thing that she said at the end, you are now in the sunken place. Ha! That is not a good thing to say. That is not a good thing. What is a sunken place? That someone who's who sunken, you're fallen. Like a quicksand. It, that's not a good thing to say to someone. You are now in the sunken place. It's not. It's like you are now in the place of, in the leper's colony. You are now. It's such a negative place, as if to say that whatever he tries to do, he will continue to fall or he will not make it out. Do you understand what I mean? A sunken place is a place you can't rise out of. You can't bring yourself out of. You keep stewing in the negativity dirt evil whatever it is whatever the whole that's the way i interpret it right you let me know in the comment section sorry i'm talking so much that one was running the other one was looking at herself in the mirror oh my god what's up man nothing i don't want to be doing hmm I know who you are. She is lovely, isn't she? Ooh. A real doggone keeper. <laughs> My exercise. I didn't mean to scare you. You were in Mrs. Armitage's office for quite some time. How would you know that? 
He woke up in bed. I guess I had too much of that wine last night. Can't really remember. So. <laughs> well, I should get back to work and mind my own business. I think your mom hypnotized me last night. Yes. What? And I can I can barely remember anything, but now the thought of a cigarette makes me want to throw up. Like. And I couldn't move, it was like... Oh, God, that sounds terrible. I'm sorry. Hey, uh, what's Walter's deal? Walter, is that the... What do you mean, his deal? Gardner. I just talked to him, dude, his whole vibe's hostile. Did he say something? Mm. Maybe, maybe he's jealous or something. Yeah, that's the top of the line. What Are you fucking mean? with me? What does he mean, top of the line? What does that mean? Like, you, 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 you... Oh, okay. don't talk to your dad. No, it's fine, it's fine, it's not a big deal. It's not a big deal. Forget about it. It begins. Are you ready for this? Yeah, yeah. I'm not. So nice. <laughs> uh-uh. They are hugging Walter. See, see, see. Another thing I have. Pause. Hey. This will be something else. Uh, um, okay, so. What is this? When I'm watching it, this something comes to my mind, and I think of something. Yes. So Walter was saying something. She's this top of the line. Top of the line. So implied like Rose is the creme de la creme. She's out of your league. That's what he's saying. So. As a black man, he's like implying that uh, you've gotten a madame or something, something like that. Do you understand? When now we see him not only opening the doors for the white guests coming in, they're hugging him. So like, you can't be, <laughs> I don't know, you can't be racist and unracist at the same time. Do you understand what I mean? Because the people coming to the house, as she, they came out of the car, they hugged him. Right? And if not that, he mentioned that he was in, in that woman's office, the psychiatrist's office, he would never have remembered. Because he woke up in his room. You know? What am I missing? What is happening? I'm... I'm I'm trying I'm missing something. He can't put it my finger on it. And why is this daughter Rose surprised by everything? Oh no. Oh no. So like this is your family. You're not ten years old. You're a full blown woman. And you're telling me, he said, I think your mother hypnotized me. It's like, are you, are you serious? Oh, no. What do you mean? I don't believe she did that. Has she done it before? Without someone's permission? Because he clearly told you people at the dinner that he didn't want that. Then you, you know, then you bring him to this house. Your brother is doing that. He said, I can't believe it. You're brushing your teeth. I don't know there's something, something. Like, they are all in cahoots. Yes, 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 yes. You can't tell me. I can see it. There are, this girl should be, he better, he better call his friend. He better find a way to get out of this place. He better find a way to get out of this place. Get out, get out, get out, get out. Ah, ah, something is off. So what is it? What is it? What is happening? What is happening? What is it? Play. There you go. There it is. <laughs> Indeed. Oh, and that's quite a grip. Oh, thank you. You too, man. You, uh, you ever play golf? But, uh, I do know Tiger. What's Tiger? Tiger Woods? What okay. in the world? Oh, not bad. Is it better? Wow, wow. Wow. But now the pendulum is swung back. Black is in fashion. 
if this boy doesn't start running like water out of this this <laughs> he won't he doesn't want to go where they are he doesn't want to go he's pretending like he doesn't see did they want to eat him or what <sighs> is this not the man they yes. killed in the beginning there you are <laughs> Mm. Do something with this. Ah, yes. You two make a oh, lovely yeah. cup. Tattoo on his neck, three. Yes. Chris was just telling me how he felt much more comfortable with my being here. The wind cuts were asking about you. Ah. Oh, he doesn't know how to do ah. the thing. Goodbye. <laughs> Why are they looking at Why are they cut? They mean well, but they have no idea what real people go through. Believe me, the irony of being a blind art dealer isn't lost on me. I submitted to Nat Geo 14 times before realizing I didn't have the eye. Shit ain't fair, man. Oh, you got that right. Shit ain't fair. <laughs> oh my God, do they want to eat him? Why is his phone always unplugged? What's happening? You've plugged it. They want your phone to die so you can't dial for help when they try to eat you. That is it. They are cannibals. Do this guy leave this house. Leave this house now. What the fuck? You left me out there. Look at this. She unplugged my phone. Georgina. <sighs> Georgina. I came here to talk to Rod and I got no juice. Really? So what would unplugging your phone do? It's a thing. It's not it. It's not it. It is not it. That's not it. It doesn't even make sense. Yeah, never mind. No, no, no. Stop. Don't. And why was that other guy, Logan, when he walked to the other white people, why was he doing this? Like showing himself. Was he showing his outfit or like she pause, 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 pause. If I need to pause, I have to pause because I'm not getting it. I'm wait, 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 wait. I'm very uncomfortable. I'm very uncomfortable with this. Just give me a moment. He walked, Logan, that's the guy that I'm talking about. A woman came, big woman. We all know this person is not the guy from the beginning. The personality has changed. Something has happened. I am convinced in my mind that the guy who tried to choke her, him out, Walter. No, not Walter. Jeremy. Jeremy tried to choke Chris. I'm convinced it is him, but I thought he died. So he didn't die, as we can see. He has changed. His personality has changed. Hmm? He went from a black, swaggy, you know, kind of guy on the phone, something, something, Edgewood, something, something he was saying. I don't know what he was talking about. No, he was telling someone on the phone that I don't know why I'm here. This Edgewood doesn't have something, something, something. Okay. You can see him in jeans. He was cool looking. Now we see him dressed like, what is that hat? What is that shirt? What is that something? So now he's now, he now has a woman plus size, horrible and wide. And he's acting like an old person. Like someone who is it okay. I will do this. Why is he slow? What's what's happening? Like what's happening? When you're young, you're in a, what what's he doing? He was doing something weird. Is it because he was trying to you know when you'd want to speak to a child, you start doing the go 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 go. It doesn't mean you're a baby, but you're trying to communicate. So is that how he communicates with the woman he's dating? Because she's an older woman, more mature, seasoned woman. Pretty. Um, she's not ugly. There's nothing wrong. But the way he was talking to her, like, oh, I don't understand. You know, like someone who is speaking to someone who is old and they are speaking to another old person. So what was happening there? Then he goes back. He says, someone else wants to meet you. Goes back and begins to walk around like, look at me or look at my dress or something like that. What is that? Then... We go to the other one and say, let me see your form. Why do you see my form? I told you I only played um, something once. And then he says, I like Tiger Woods. Tiger. I was like, oh, Tiger, what is Tiger? It took me a moment to click that he was talking about Tiger Woods. Because I, I'm i not into sports like that. But I, 
who wouldn't know Tiger Woods? I know, I know Simone Biles. I know um, the Williams sisters. Good. The other one now said, <sighs> the, that woman, what's her name? Nielsen and Alisa. Obviously, this woman married a much older man. She was like touching him. Is it good? Is it true what they say? Is it good in something? Why would you care if he's good in bed? You can't have him. So if I tell you now, like if someone came to ask me, oh, is your husband good in bed? My question was like, if he is, what, what's going to happen? You want to test him out? Do you understand? But Rose was surprised. She looked at her like, woman, right in front of her. Is it? Because she didn't say, she didn't ask him. She said, she asked her, is, is this, is it true what they say? Is it true what they say? That's what she, she said. So you're asking me if my boyfriend, is true what they say. What do you want me to say? I know it's not true. They are like this. It's, it's a lie. It's not what you think. You'll be disappointed. If, if I tell you, what it really is how, how does that help you and you're partially almost to be stroked wielding cheering husband immobility <laughs> so how and then he goes up the stairs and everybody stops Before he even goes up the stairs, he goes to meet the other one at the gallery. At least that one is even sensible. He, he's one of those people who is sensible. Then he talks to how do you know me? Oh, he knows that he's into art. How did that guy know he's into art? The Hudson Galleries. Who told him? But as, do you realize that as he was approaching the Hudson guy, that, okay, that must be the assistant. Okay, I saw someone bend over and say something. I thought it was the girl's father, but it wasn't. It was the assistant. The girl's father was with his other friends. When they waved him over, he looked away. I wonder, if, I want to understand. So this is a horror film, but it's also, something is happening here. I can piece it, but I can't really. Oh. If they are cannibals, all of them can't eat. It's him. All of them, because there are too many, they're like something right they are all old but they it, but even if they are all old if they all gang up to beat fight him to pin him down drug him they would overpower him Then his phone is unplugged. His phone is unplugged because they don't want him to call for help. That is it. Or maybe receive messages. They want the phone to die. But why? Why are they? Why are they? Why? 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 Because, because Logan was one way and now is another. The psychiatrist can go into your mind and make you another person. Can that happen? Can that happen? Can someone alter your mind? And that woman, oh, 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 oh. That woman 
That woman, honey, she called him honey. That is her husband. That is her husband. Can you, can you hypnotize someone into believing that they are not who they are? Can you, let me rephrase that. It didn't say, it, it's sense in my head, but it's not sense to you. Can you hypnotize someone in a way, this is Kemi now, and by tomorrow, I am an elderly Caucasian woman. Attributes with my, I don't know, deciding that my, I want to wear Queen Elizabeth hats, Philip Tracy, you know, just changing. No, well, no, I don't want this anymore. I want um, pearls. Oh, no, I don't want my nails long. I want it short. Can you hypnotize someone into, this is it, into a young body? Into a young body. Into a young body, you guys, you guys, you guys, into a young body, into a young body. That's why, that's why, that is why that woman asked him, is it true what, because her husband is dying, they need a young body to, 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 to hypnotize. Play, play, play. It's like they haven't met a black person that doesn't work for me. Black person. I got hypnotized last night. Hypnotized. Nigga, get the fuck out of here. No. She can't fix my motherfucking life. You ain't getting in my head. I know she called me off guard, mm. right? I don't know if you know this. White people love making people sex slaves and shit. Sex slave. Sex slave. But without their heads, it was fucking weird, detached head shit. You know, that's Jeffrey Dahmer business. The movement. Because <laughs> they probably hypnotized. Hypnotized. <laughs> hypnotized. Hypnotized. Hello. Hi. Woman, get away from me in the name of Jesus. I don't want, I don't want it. I didn't ask for. Allow me to explain. No. I lifted your cellular phone to wipe down the dresser, and it accidentally came undone. Yeah, I, I Rather told... than meddle with it further. Snitch. Don't you know what Rat snitch is? Tell no deal. White woman lingua. If there's too many white people, I get nervous, you know? What is the problem? <laughs> They've hypnotized her. No, 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 no. The Armitages are so good to oh, us. This bitch is crazy. The whole house is crazy. Just She's check crazy. your phone and make sure. Hold in Celia Jeffries, Hiroki Tanaka, and Jessica and Friedrich Walden. Or oh, disadvantage in the modern world. Being African American has more advantage or disadvantage. They were asking me about the African-American experience. Maybe you could take this one. I find that the African-American experience for me has been, for the most part, very good. The chores have become my sanctuary. Oh, Jesus is Lord. No! Yo, chill, man. Chill! 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 Chill, man! Chill, man. Chill, man. Chill, man. Chill, man. Yeah, but like randomly attacking you. He was not people. attacking you. Oh, it's not you. random. You know, it was your... Pause. Hey. He was saying, get out of here. I have goosebumps. I need water. I can't. <laughs> I'm scared. He was saying, get out. Get out of here. Get out of here. He wasn't saying, get out. That you SOB, that you're, the one, you, you're, you're upsetting me. No. He was pushing him out. The flash from the phone must have done something to waking him up from the hypnosis. And he's now... He said, my African-American experience has been, for the most part, something. Oh, my God. My belly is rumbling. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh. I feel nauseous. Give me a moment. 
I feel nauseous. I feel nauseous. Just give me a moment. Oh, my belly. So guys, I'm back. Um, I needed to take some air and well, <laughs> I guess you have to do what you have to do because it's getting pretty intense and <sighs> it's getting pretty intense and clearly I can see a message in this film, but I will keep it to the end. Um, I will keep it to the end because um, I don't think this this is fiction, definitely, but I don't know. I've never experienced hypnosis. I don't know how powerful it is. And I don't think just off my understanding of what it is, it's capable of affecting one so like, okay, deciding that you don't want to smoke is a habit. Deciding that you're no longer a black man, but an, a white woman's husband is a, a Caucasian is quite another. It has to do with the brain. So I don't know. And it's, it has to do with the brain on a different level. Like it's hypnosis also has to do with the brain. It has to do with the mind. But I don't think it's powerful enough to alter your whole, hmm, is it? That's just it. That's what I, I got my water. Um. Oh, you all an apology? No, no, no. We're just very happy that you're yourself again. Yes. What do you mean yourself? You turned into... Well, uh, so the flash I'll have to let you all get on the rest of the night without the aid of my marvelous wit. Yes, yeah, let's get this uh, party back on track. How about sparklers? And did you notice these people, these people pause again. I know I just started two minutes ago, but when I saw that Jeremy in the corner, he was the one when this guy started screaming, get out, came back again through this to choke the guy back. Jeremy and choking. These people are evil. I will not talk about it again to the end. Sorry. Pause. <laughs> We're going to go on a walk. Mm. My dad's a neurosurgeon, and that's what he said it was. I, I was inclined to trust him. What was it then? When he came at me, it felt like I knew him. She got in my head, and now I'm thinking all this fucked up shit that I don't want to think about. Yes. Like what? What are we thinking? Yeah, me too. Don't tell this one. Tell me. Tell it to your bestie. Tell it what's going on with this guy. One. Bingo. What's going on? What's this? I just need to go. Yes, I need to go. Whatever you want. Whatever you want. First and fume, turn your back on me. I don't give a flying hoot. I'm out. Peace. Don't break, oh! Don't break. Stand well. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. What are you doing? You just who is that? Are they bidding for him? They are bidding for him. They are selling him ten million. What does that mean? Ten sold. Who? To the blind man. To the gallery guy, you. I told you about that night my mom died. When I did call 911, then go out looking for her. She lay there bleeding by the side of the road. Hold the woman. You're all I've got. I'm not gonna leave here without you. I'm not gonna abandon you again. He's a stupid boy. I was feeling for him now that he said this stupid thing. You better not jump into that lake and swim across. He said, you're not going to abandon me. Who told you? Let's go home. This sucks. Let's go home. I'll make something up. Okay, let's go. Yeah. Okay, she she's going. Then she's good. Ah, like you see, the boy is feeling somehow. 
even if you're innocent, if your boyfriend comes into a place and is feeling, you people stayed there all day, all night, st stayed by the lake. Why is it in the night? Why are you smiling? Look at the mother is not smiling. Don't go into the house. Hey, Jehovah, no. Hey, my God, my God, my God, my God. My God. My God, my stomach is rumbling, you guys. If you hear sounds, it's fear, please. <laughs> Teresa's sister that work at the movie theater on 8th. Yeah. Yes, that is hip. Oh, shit! Chris, you gotta get the fuck up out of there, man. You in some eye-wide shut situation. Leave, motherfucker! Hey, handsome. Are you packing? Rosie, we gotta go. We gotta go now. We gotta go right now. Is that okay? Yeah. Okay, yeah. Uh, let me go get my bag. Okay. What is your business with that place? Just pack your things and get out. I've many times have I said get out in this thing. Oh, just pack your things and go. 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 Just go. I don't know what you're looking for. Red box. What does that mean? You will soon see something. Voodoo. See, it's giving me skeleton key vibes. I thought she said she's never dated black men before. Jesus is Lord. Jesus is Lord. Isn't that the water downstairs? She also did lesbian. She also dated women. She's coming. Hey, are you ready? Have you got the keys? I'm gonna put the, the bags in the trunk real quick. Okay. Uh... Take me a second. Hey. Let's do this on the move. Take that bag, turn it upside down, look for, find the keys, have the keys in your hand as a weapon. Oh, man. Where are you going? The party was just getting started. I'm just putting bags in the car, man. Terrible. Why is he holding that Rose thing? keys. Okay. Rose. The keys. Take the bag from Rose and turn it upside down. She's a liar. Even the She's sun not looking. will die someday. No, keys! Oh, 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 careful, bro. What the fuck? Where are those keys, Rose? Ah. Ah. No, no. Okay. Right? Mind his head. Oh. Okay. Oh. Okay, that was my fault. <laughs> He's not back. Go with yeah. back up. Me He's too. Missing. He's missing. He said oh. me too. I miss him. Me too. He's... So they want to sell him to the... Wait a minute, pause, 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 pause. So now if they sell him, what does that mean? What pause, pause, pause. Wait, what does that mean? What does selling him to that blind guy mean? What does because if if the guy was doing this, the blind guy, are they going to take his eyes? Are they going to take his eyes? But why does he want to take Chris's eyes? He, can't he buy someone's eyes from the... You know what I mean? A seeing eye, isn't it still going to work if he gets somebody... <laughs> can't... He, so he wants to take his eyes because he was having that conversation with Chris about the gallery and how genetic something, something happened to him. So he bought Chris to take his eyes. Why? And that guy... The guy, the, the Walter, was one of the pictures. The girl was one of the pictures. So, so they hypnotized them into who? Oh, my.
my god is this thing like skeleton key is it like skeleton key it's like skeleton key let me explain how remember remember dean what he said about walter and the woman georgina that they serve the parents he we he we they served the parents and he could not let them go and then he kept them on remember what the 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 the, the, the father said that his dad was a runner with jesse williams hitler something what was that guy doing at night running yeah, 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 yeah. so how did they do it how do you do it neurosurgeon he took the brain he took the hypnosis and the brain 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 transfer it can't be brain transfer it can't be brain transfer because if it's brain transfer the the logan who is andre would hey my son's name is andre logan who is will not have snapped back he snapped back because it wasn't okay okay so it's not brain it's hypnosis it's hypnosis so they hypnotize these black people to believe that they were white they hypnotize this please repetition is for emphasis is to analyze what i'm saying i'm trying to convince myself on my on the my chosen train of thought so they hypnotized these people to to believe that they are walter has been hypnotized to believe that he is the grandfather who was the olympic runner And the black owner brain is still in there. Both brains are there side by side. How? Is it possible? It's not possible. We can't divide the brain into two. So it is hypnosis. They hypnotized Walter to believe that he is the grandfather of the girl. And the woman is the, and they want black people. Why? Why? Because that other person, the genetic, the genetic, that is what he was saying at the dinner table, that mad boy, that he said it. He said that if you, you're, you're something makeup and you're something under up will make you a beast. Oh my God, I see it now. That's why they want him for his eyes. The, the guy, Hudson Galleries, had lost his sight. Wants a black eyes because of... Did they tell him that black people don't go blind? Eh? Missing in evergreen hollow. See it all. See it all. God have mercy. God have mercy. Have mercy. Have mercy. Why are they putting you in front of a TV? Hi. I'm Roman Armitage. Abby? You have been chosen because of the physical advantages. You've enjoyed a determination. We could both be part of something greater. Something perfect. Which is what? A white brain in a black body. Or what? What is this? What is it? Our order has been developing it for many, many years. My family and I are honored to operate as a service to members of our group. Don't waste your strength. Don't try to fight it. You can't stop the inevitable. Maybe one day you'll enjoy being members. Coagula. What does that mean? Oh my God. 
Yes, ma'am, but, but this is not TSA business. Okay, don't call me ma'am. My friend, he's 26. His name is uh, Chris, Chris Washington. He left on Friday with his girlfriend, uh, Rose Armitage. And I've been watching his dog see it. That's it. See, that's Andre Hayworth. Okay, somebody we knew from back in the day. Mm, he don't look so missing to me. That's because we found him, right? But Chris says he's acting real different. Different how? This Maybe dude's from sorry. Brooklyn. Huh? He didn't dress like this. Well, I used to dress like this. Huh? Oh, okay. TSA. I know, I know, I know, I know. Oh, no. Okay, look, I'm trying to work towards this. Brainwashing him, yes. making him work for him as sex slaves and shit. Oh, sorry about the shit. Sex slave, but the other guy doesn't want him for sex. He wants eyes. I'm sure his eyes. Hold on a second. Then he sent me some weird picture. I'm like, oh man, that's Andre Hayesworth. This so look, I go do my my, my, my detective work, right? You. And I start putting pieces together. And see, this is what I came up with. Well, sex slaves, not just regular slaves, but sex slaves and shit. But all I know is they already got two brothers we know. Don't laugh. <laughs> 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 And then he just got in a cab and left his phone. Ma matter of fact, I went to the police. What did you say? What cab company did he, uh, did he use to leave? Oh gosh, I, a local one, or I guess he, he could have called an Uber. Ooh that, ooh, that TSA shit tingles. This motherfucker's lying. So last time I talked to Chris, he told me your mama hypnotized him. I know why you're calling. Why mm -hmm. is that? There's something between us. You must be No, oh, what you talking about, girl? I called you about Chris. I know you think about fucking me, Rod. You ass, fuck you. I didn't want to fuck you. Bye. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, wait, where's, where's Rose? Oh, you dirty dog. I'm supposed to answer any... Uh, outstanding questions, uh, concerns you may have so far. Yes. Phase one was the hypnotism. That's how they sedate you. Phase two is is this mental preparation. It's basically a psychological pre-op. Or phase three, the transplantation. Transplantation of what? My brain? Brain connected to your nervous system needs to stay put, keeping those intricate connections intact so you won't be gone not completely a sliver of you will still be in there somewhere limited consciousness that's why that guy was able to come back what your body is doing but you're now you're in the sunken place now i'll control the motor function so i'll be me why black people? Are you kidding? You have it all. <laughs> black is in fashion. Black is in Don't fashion. Sleep. This is spiritual crazy. Ah, pause, pause. You see, when he says these things, it's not. It's the the, uh, the 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 author of this play or book or whatever it was before it became a movie is really intelligent. He's really intelligent. He is really good. He He's using the physical, I want to say, but I think I should leave it to the end. What I was really, I wanted to talk about how the symbolism and how the eyes mean something else, the vision and experience. Black is in fashion. How... People have taken credit for black style. You see how braids, for instance, appropriation, things that we, we were once Raz now becomes Raz and local and street now becomes elegant because it's on a Caucasian woman. Do you see what he's doing? The, 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 it's 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 much deeper than just the sunken place is the place where almost every African-American has been in the sense that they've seen 
These things happen. They see it consistently on social media, on TV, in their environment, in their workplace, and they can't do anything about it. Their hands are tied. Their speech is taken. They can't speak for themselves. They can't advocate for themselves because they they are giving crumbs. At the end of the day, okay, though, I get my paycheck at the end of the day, but you're doing the same work as this Caucasian man, and he's your, he's doing ten, he's earning ten times as much. It's it's what oh it's it's much deeper. But I have to go back. We're going to talk about the eyes. We're going to talk about the sport. Water running. We're going to talk about that's Hudson. Mm -hmm. The spot water running. Obviously, that black woman is the grandma, right? We're going to talk about how black women ha have raised white children, breastfed them, giving them the discipline, but not taking credit. Motherhood. Mothering by a black woman that has to do with the nanny, right? We're going to talk about the fixation of dating black men, dating. We're going to talk about that at the end. We're going to talk about what else did we see? Strength. Fashion. Black is in fashion. That one said sports. Walter and the guy who wanted to play um, hockey. No, it's not hockey. Sorry, golf. We're gonna talk about that. What else? What else? What else? What else? What else? Dating in the respect that sometimes I've heard stories. I've it is not my experience, but I've heard stories of how people want to date people because of their fetish. 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 We have to talk about this at the end. But let's get let's finish the film because it's much. It's much. Cotton, slavery, write it down. Cotton, 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 they picked cotton. No, 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 no. Oh my God. Phase one hypnosis. The surgery. Oh my God. Is he using the tools of his father? Is that why it's looking like that? Oh my God. Oh my God. Please don't show me. 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 The is... Oh my god. Oh my god. I can see it through his glasses. Oh my god. Oh, oh my god. Fight. Please. Just wake up. Please. I wish. Hey, I wish that boy can be. Oh, jeez. Please. We... you to freedom <laughs> beat him up oh he's dead he's killed the song <laughs> Jeremy has died <laughs> yeah, you're just safe, uh. plug your ears again in case the woman comes with the teacup plug the ears who is humming? Who is humming? <sighs> yes. Yes, bitch. Break that cup. <laughs> Slap her! Pack, 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 pack. If you dare. Oh my god. I'm not a violent person. Oh my god. My goodness me. Stop it right now. The beast is what you made him. You can! You can! Show them who you are. No! Wake up! Wake up! You know who you are! Come on! Oh 
And she knows her house is on fire. Look at the wall. Look at her wall of shame. Look at it. She's put it up as frames. I'm sorry, sir. Can you repeat that? I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. Why did she come in front of your moving vehicle? Keep driving, sir. It's not your mom. Grandma. Oh my god. He's already raising up his hand. He's already raising up. He's your bestie. He's your bestie. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure you've heard this several times, people in criminal law. They said you're first presumed innocent and then it is up to the prosecutor to to tell the court ways in which you're guilty. A person doesn't come before the court and there's the presumption of guilt. No, there's the presumption of innocence first and then as the prosecutor begins to speak or bring forth the evidence, they're supposed to show the court or the jury why you're guilty and how they believe that you're guilty. But I grew up in Nigeria, so I didn't have to, I, the racist thing wasn't, I didn't experience it. My, like I said, my first racist experience was in Germany and it was by an Indian man. And it took me a while because I didn't get what was happening. It took me a while. It took me seeing the look of disgust on the white woman. She was, like, she was like, don't talk to her like that. That made me realize, oh, there's something wrong here. Something is happening because I was trying to figure out why is he, why is he asking me all these questions? What's going on? He's not asking everybody. My husband, actually, it's a long story. So, but obviously I've see I watch the news. I watch American news, I watch CNN, I know what's going on in the States. I know the story of racism and the stress. I say this because when Chris raised up his hand, he hadn't even seen who was in the car. All he did was hear the siren. The and then he just raised up the presumption of guilt and how the 
and how the woman who had in, instigated everything was like, help me, looking frail. How you see it repeatedly in social media. Look at the other girl, the girl, the TikToker who killed the Nigerian boy. She had been assaulting him for years. He had gone to the police, I heard, who told his family that this woman, when she's in a rage, she beats me up. And then it was one day she flew into a wild rage and she stabbed him. Nobody, the parents had been crying, going to the cops. The girl was on vacation when one of his brothers decided to make a TikTok video. They had reported this incident months before that TikTok video and the police did nothing. They let her go. They did nothing. How many people, and this isn't even a race thing, but how many times do you see women accuse men? Several times. They said in the 60s, if a woman even fell in love with a black man and she decided that she wanted to change her mind, all she had to do was say he raped her. They said that the first black wall street they said it was burned down because a white woman had accused a black boy of looking at her in a seductive manner they, huh? when you hear things like this you realize obviously not all black white people are of course i have like they're not all like that some are very loving some are very kind you can find evil both ways, but to grow up in a society where there is a mindset associated with your color, telling you that you are this because you're this and they are that because they are this color, it does something to you. I'm sure even the, in the heat of racism at that time, there were people who, were, who knew what they were doing was wrong. But they were being taught this in school and they just had to go, even though they would have lost their businesses, lost their jobs, lost their lives, lost their societal. Like there was so much pressure to even continue. It's, it's so painful. Walter must have looked at himself when he came out of that sunken place in that moment. In that moment, that flash is a reflection the opportunity it takes a split second the epiphany the flash represents the epiphany when it suddenly clicks that something is wrong with this nobody knows when it can happen when the click happens nobody knows how it will happen nobody knows why it will happen but once that click happens you're never the same again and that what that ha click happened that night as he was choking and he realized he realized what had happened to him, who he had become, what he had seen other and he couldn't do it. He ended his self. You know, sometimes depression falls on them. But when they have, when they have tried and tried and tried to rise above the racist system and they are just tired, they end it all. The eyes, Hudson wanted the eyes because the, you know how they say the eyes are windows to the soul. He was fascinated, Hudson was fascinated about the artistic, the culture. The eyes show you things about a person, the culture, what it means to be black. He might, it, it's not one thing. He said he wanted to experience life through the eyes. It's it's like that Rachel Zolda, that girl who was white but wanted so badly to be black. She wanted to experience what it meant. She felt like she was living a bland life and wanted to experience what it meant to be on the other side. That was what Hudson wanted. He wanted his eyes because the eyes would make him feel like part of the community. He was tired of being told he couldn't have something. He had tried to become an artist and he didn't make it. He was subpar, right? So he wanted to be among a people who knew what it means to be, suffer rejection and still rise. What happened with Hudson is that they told me I couldn't become an artist. So what he became, he became an art dealer. 
He wanted his eyes because he knew that as a black man, he had suffered so much rejection. He wanted to know how, in spite of the... He, that is where he and Chris connected, and that's why he won the bidding. Because he said, yes, not only are you artistic, you've experienced something as a black person that I know. I will want to be your friend. I don't want to be your friend. I want to be you. I want to be part of your community. I know I know not white people in... Uh, this is intense. This is intense. I don't know if I'm happy I watch this. If I'm sad I watch this. I don't I'm feeling torn because it's something that I I I don't like going to it. I know it happens, but I feel like for me I can handle this by being kind and not hateful. Because there's something my dad taught me and my mom said hate will never solve anything and no matter how far you think you suffer there's someone who has suffered more than you i know everybody every race in this world has i'm educated and i've read has gone through something every race has gone through something and, and i don't want to talk about it walter the sports that one was clear you always see that when black people get into any kind of sports, skating, basketball, soccer, we dominate music, gym, gymnastics, we dominate. We dominate. I, I don't know why. They talk about our physical abilities, our strengths, mothering. Dating as a fetish, intimacy, sex, they're well hung. They say that I don't, I've only been intimate with one person, so <laughs> the cotton in the chair, slavery, picking cottons. I came to save him, to free him. Thank you. Thank you. All right, my darlings, I hope you enjoyed this reaction. I hope, no, it's not even enjoying the reaction. I hope that you leave this reaction better, a better person. You can't erase the past. You can't, but moving forward, you can make your part of the world better. So when you see someone, suffering, help them the best way you can. Don't just walk 